Leukopenia is a condition characterized by an abnormally low number of white blood cells, causing the person to be vulnerable to serious infections that can rapidly progress to sepsis. Neutropenia, a subset of leukopenia, specifically refers to a low level of neutrophils, critical for the immune system's first line of defense. Leukopenia can be caused by various factors, including autoimmune diseases, malignancies, chemotherapy, and the use of immunosuppressive medications. There are no symptoms of leukopenia other than infections that develop due to the client's weakened immune system. Symptoms of infections can include fever and chills, sore throat, a productive cough with purulent sputum, dysuria or malodorous urine, wounds with purulent drainage, tachycardia, tachypnea, and new onset confusion in older adults. Diagnostic testing for leukopenia starts with a complete blood count showing a WBC count less than 4,000. Calculation of the absolute neutrophil count, referred to as ANC, is also crucial, as it helps assess the severity of neutropenia and the associated risk of infection. ANC is calculated based on the percentage of neutrophils in the white blood cell count. The risk of opportunistic infection increases as the ANC falls below 1,500, and the risk of serious infection increases as the ANC falls below 500. Further testing may also be required to identify specific infections, such as urinalysis, wound culture, or a chest X-ray to assess for pneumonia. Treatment options vary based on cause and severity of the leukopenia. Mild cases might only require prevention strategies to prevent infection, such as strict handwashing or avoiding others who are ill. Moderate to severe cases may include antibiotics for fever presumed to be from an infection, granulocyte colony stimulating factor to boost WBC production, or adjustments to prescribed medications known to affect WBC counts. In severe cases related to bone marrow problems like leukemia, stem cell transplant may be performed. Nurses play a pivotal role in the prevention and early identification of infection. Interventions include closely monitoring vital signs for signs of infection, limiting visitor exposure, promoting good rest and nutritional intake, encouraging fluid intake, facilitating coughing and deep breathing exercises, and educating clients and families on infection prevention strategies. Nurses must also be vigilant for signs of sepsis that require immediate medical intervention due to the heightened risk posed by the client's compromised immune system. Early signs of sepsis include temperature over 38 degrees Celsius or under 36 degrees Celsius, heart rate greater than 90 beats per minute, and respiratory rate greater than 20 breaths per minute. Evaluation of interventions involves assessing whether the client remains free from infection. Continuous assessment is necessary to adjust the care plan as needed, ensuring the client's safety and well-being, 